Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Ralph once again. Uh, before anything else, I would like to greet you a Merry Christmas. And today, I'm going to share with you the fragrance that I will be wearing on the uh, Christmas Eve. The perfume that I will be wearing is from Zerjo. It is named after the street in which their uh, Turin flagship store is located. So, I will be wearing Zerjo's Via Cabur 1. This one. So, Via Cabur 1 is from their uh, Shooting Stars collection. So, as we all know, they come in the, a 50ml bottle, just like this one, which also includes the, a meteorite or a meteorite fragment. Uh, that's why it is named the Shooting, the Shooting Stars line. Without further delay, let us start spraying this one. So I guess three sprays is enough, maybe four here. So guys, this will be my scent of the day for the Christmas Eve. Right now it's morning time here in the Philippines, but I'm pretty sure with the longevity of the Via Cabur 1, it will last until the night time. And maybe I will re reapply later at the evening, but uh, I'm pretty sure that this will be my sent for the entire day. So I'm already getting wafts of it from the air. Uh, Fragrantica describes this as having uh, quince and peach in the opening. So definitely it's a bit fruity, uh, smells a little bit sweet. I don't know if it comes from the quince but I guess it's more closer to the peach. Uh, to, to be honest I haven't encountered the fruit Queens yet, so I am not familiar with its scent or how it smells on real life. But I can definitely say the opening is quite beautiful and it smells really, really good. For the complete note breakdown, according to Fragrantica, you can check it out here. What I like about this fragrance is that it has an oud note, uh, which makes the which makes for a great backbone of the fragrance so it is just not a sweet fragrance but it also has some depth to it some woodiness and some animalic facets although the wood here guys is not as pungent as their other offerings you can definitely smell it so many Zerjo fragrance collectors consider this as the best and it is their favorite uh, Zerjo fragrance so that speaks a lot regarding the quality of uh, this scent as we all know, Zerjo has many hits like uh, Naxos, uh, Renaissance, Neo, uh, Cruz del Sur 2, Alexandria 2, and this being picked as their number one, it really, it's, it is really a testament to how good this one is, guys. For me personally, I chose this one as my Christmas scent or Christmas Eve scent, is is because. I actually consider this as the best example of what a niche fragrance should be. What I mean by that is that a niche fragrance should not only smell good but also smell unique. Uh, it has to have this uh, scent DNA that is different from designer brands or designer releases. Second is, uh, I know some of you might disagree but for me, Presentation should be a key factor when uh, when it comes to niche fragrances. And uh, for Zerjoff, the Zerjoff brand has some of the best, uh, if not the best, packaging and presentation that I that I saw in a fragrance. Also, their sprayers are also very very good. Third, uh, for me, a niche fragrance should be rare or not be widely distributed or widely available so it means that there's a less chance for you to have a same scent as the guy next to you or the girl next to you so this one ticks all the, all of those boxes so for me this one is the best example of a niche perfume if the dictionary or if the Merriam-Webster 
has a picture of a niche fragrance next to it then this one I will really recommend to be that picture that's it guys that's all I have to say regarding Zergios Viacabur 1 my scent of the day for the Christmas Eve so guys I would like you to share also your scent of the day on down in the comment section and if you enjoy this video please hit the thumbs up thank you